Good morning, beautiful people. This is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries. G.W.Deliver2020 at gmail.com. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Um, I am so grateful to be in the land of the living, another new day of grace, another new day of mercy. If you are watching this video, people of God, that means you are in the land of the living. And um, judgment is not yet set. Um, I wanted to come on here this morning real quick. I'm not going to be long. But let us pray. Father God, we most gracious Heavenly Father, the creator of heaven and earth. God, we want to thank you for this brand new day of grace, another day of mercy. God, we ask that you forgive our sins and trespasses and shortcomings. God, we thank you for the drawing of our hearts towards you. God, we thank you for your word that is alive. God, we thank you that we serve a living God. God, we thank you that we serve an undefeated God. God, we thank you that you are the healer. You are the deliverer. You are the redeemer god we thank you that you are everything that we need here in the land of the living god we thank you we honor you in jesus name amen i wanted to come on it and answer a question someone asked a question in my comments and i don't want anybody to be offended um but i answer questions as the lord lead um and some things god just definitely want you to seek um, that you can ask him and he will give you um, revelation of your question. So it's not all questions um, unless God lead me to answer them. Um, but this particular question that a young lady asked, um, he did this morning, um, he gave me, I wrote down some things that he gave me concerning the question. And if I'm not mistaken, the question was, do God know who's already going to go to heaven? So it, it's a question, something like that. So I promise you in my prayer time, um, I wasn't even thinking about the question, but the Lord brought it back to my remembrance. The Lord brought it back to my remembrance and he wanted me to answer this question to the young lady that asked. And I'm sure other people may have this question as well, right? So the Lord gave me this and trust you me, guys, it is not, forgive me if I come off sounding like I'm sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. I promise you, I'm just giving it to you as the Lord gave it to me. And then even in that, you continue to seek the Lord. I am just the messenger of Christ. I can't save you. I don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. I can offer you Christ. It is up to you to accept it or not because we have free will. So again, the question was, do God already know who's going to make it in, right? So the Lord gave me this. Salvation is an individual thing. When we receive Christ, you can't receive Christ for your parents, your children. It's an individual thing. This means each individual person have to accept or not accept Jesus Christ for themselves or we have the will to reject it, right? So salvation is an individual thing. Then he said, even though God knows everything, God knows everything, right? He wants us to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's in Philippians 2 and 12. And that word fear in this um, verse means to reverence him. Fear, like not like, uh, like, oh God, I'm so scared of God. No, like God wants us basically to love what he loves and hate what he hate and to reverence him. And that word trembling is making sure that you fulfill your duty. So a lot of times, and I used to be here, guys. I used to be there. And sometimes I still catch myself. The Lord also gave me um, for you, sis. Don't allow the enemy to make you overthink things. I don't know if you are overthinker. I don't know you. But the Lord told me to tell you this. Don't allow the enemy to make you overthink things, even things in your life, even situations, even in relationships, even when you meet people, the enemy wants you to overthink things because it will cause you to say, what's the use? Or it will even 
Your thoughts will even make you throw in a towel because you can't seem to figure it out, right? The Lord, um, the enemy wants you to doubt God, to say, well, if God already know who's going to make it in, why do I need to accept salvation? If the Lord already know who's going to make it in, why do we have to do all of these things, right? And maybe you're asking a question for somebody else. I don't know. I'm just at answering the question as the Lord, excuse me, gave it, as the Lord gave it to me. Don't overthink. Don't overthink. And it's not to the point that we're worried about, uh, we're not worried about who's going to make it in, but don't allow that thought to consume you, right? Because guess what? Let me give you a testimony of something that I know. Um, when I used to work for the hospital, I used to be a HIV um, a communicable disease educator. So I would go into the community and I would do testings. Testing in one area that the Lord had me to go in to do um, testing. I don't even know if I could say that word. Um, it's a disease to see if you have the H um, and it ends with a V, right? So the area that the Lord would have me in, um, I promise you guys, the only thing God could, could uh, describe this area is it looked like the Taj Mahal. If you ever watch back in the day, New Jack City, I think it was New Jack City. They had something called the Taj Mahal where it was nothing but prostitutes and drug users. So this is the area that the Lord would have me to go in. So not only did I do testing, but while I was doing the testing, the Lord had me to minister to people. So it was this one um, in particular, she was a lady of the night. Let's just say that um, she was a lady of the night. So I remember doing testing and the Lord told me, tell her I love her. So when I told the lady of the night, as I was doing the H and the V testing on her, um, when I told her, the Lord said he loves you. She bust out in tears and was like, he still loved me. Even after everything that I've done, even after all that I'm doing, even now, he still loves me. And I just allowed her to cry. And I began, the Lord began to give me the words to minister to her. She accepts Christ, right? So the young lady that I tested, um, that was a lady of the night when I tested her, um, I linked her to services because she did um, come up positive, right? So I linked her to services. Um, but she was still being the lady of the night. So every now and then when she would miss doc, cause I was working at the hospital, when she would miss doctor's appointments, you know, um, my coworkers would say, well, such and such didn't come in. I would go back to the block and I would find her and I'd be talking to her. Um, now mind you, when I first test her, tested her, remember she accepted Christ. So even when she accepted Christ, she was still being a lady of the night. So when she wouldn't come to services, um, to the doctor to get a medicine, I would go and find her and she was still being a lady of the night. And I'll never forget, I remember one time, um, she would, when I would come on a block to see her, she would go, this is my counselor, y'all, and I love her. Um, um, she helps me a lot. Like, she, she helped me accept Christ. Now, mind you, she was still being a lady of the night. So, this particular time, I was looking for her, I couldn't find her, and I just sat there in, in, in my own vehicle and I see her walk up. So I called her name and she was like, Hey, so I was like, um, where you coming from? And she was like, Oh, I was just at a hotel. And she was like, look, and she pulled out, I guess the man, whoever she was with, she pulled out. He had a family first car. She was still being a lady of the night doing services with the man. So she basically robbed the man. So I said, why are you doing this? And she said, this is what she said to me. Would you rather have me gave him the H or would you have rather me robbed him? And she was like, I'm going to the store. She had his, 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 his food card. And she was like, you want a sandwich? Cause I'm going to the store to get me one. So I was like, no, now mind you. Okay. Let's fast forward. 
I remember going out there a couple of times. Now we're fast forwarding. Remember she was still being the lady of the night. I remember going out there a couple of times to look for her. Anybody seen? And she had a boyfriend. Her boyfriend was actually her P, her Jean, whatever you want to call it, right? And I would see him, but I didn't see her. So I would ask some of the ladies that was out there, hey, did you see such and such? And they, was, they used to be like, no, I didn't see her. So a mutual friend that we had, the young lady who was the lady of the night, I knew someone that knew her. Um, and she... One day, she just called me out the blue and said, oh, I meant to tell you, the young lady, the lady of the night, went into rehab. Um, and I was like, oh, wow, okay, great, whatever. Now, fast forward from that. The same young lady called me and was like, hey, such and such is out. She want to see you. I'm going to send you a picture. Now, mind you, the young lady who was our mutual friend, she sent me a picture. Now, let me rephrase it. The young lady who used to be the lady of the night. When the, when the young lady sent me the picture of her, how she looked after she got out of rehab, totally different. She gained weight. Remember when I first um, tested her, she accepted Christ. So she came out. They was like, she's going to church. She's doing so well. She's living with family. She's doing excellent. So I'm saying all of that to say, when it seems like the world has given up on you or has given up on somebody, God has a different plan. Because a lot of times, the people who we feel like would not be accepting to Christ it's actually the one who God draws their heart because the word of God says, no man can come to me unless I first draw them, right? So the Lord sent me, he used me for her to accept him and she accepted him. She hearted not her heart. Remember, salvation is a choice. We have free will. Salvation is a choice. God desire is that no man perish. God desire is that every man make it. Will everybody make it? Probably not, right? Because he said, and this is how I know everybody is not going to make it. Because the word of God talks about how hell enlarges itself, even now as we're speaking. Somebody rejected Christ and when they didn't know that their rapture, their personal rapture had already come and they died without accepting Christ and they fell into the bottomless pit, right? But that is not God's desire. That is not God's will for us. Salvation is a choice. So I'm going to say this to you, young lady. Um, God definitely wants to use you. He wants to use you. You are a soul winner. However, you have to begin to seek God and ask God how you need to do it. First of all, you need to forgive. And this is for all of us. Now, I'm just not talking to you. We have to have forgiveness. We have to not cause offenses. And we have to ask God to protect us from offenses. Why? Because these things will keep us from serving God's people. With, and, and it will cause us to bleed on God's people, if you understand what I'm saying. So I also wrote this down. Even though God knows everything, it is his desire that no man perish. It's God's desire. So whether to, to just ponder on, do God already know who's going to make it in? How about you do this? Work on your own soul salvation. And when you give people Christ, that's it. It is not my job to, to beat them down because the Bible says one plant, that's you giving them Christ, one water, somebody will come and water what you said, and then God will do the increase. This is the word. So we're just, our job is just to give them Christ and allow God to be God. It is not our thought. Even if they backslide, we see they backslid. Oh God, are they going to make it in? Nope. 
how about you check your heart to see if it's anything in, in, in you or me that is not like you, God. We need God to deliver us still from some things. There are some things I still need God to deliver me from. There are some things I still am repenting from daily. And I thank God because my, my, my prayer is God convict me in my wrongdoings. Because what you think may be pleasing to God is not. You need to ask him. God, is this pleasing to you? Because again, I always hear, hear Christians say, well, I do this and I'm a Christian. That does not mean God has to agree with the things that you think are okay. Even to the point of being careful of what we post. There were many things that I thought was innocent when I posted and the Holy Spirit said, go back and take it down. Because the blood is on my hand if God is not pleased with the post and the people like it. You never know who you are leading astray from God. Our job is to draw the people to God. I pray that this bless you. Um, Please seek God even in this message. Go to the word of God. Pray about it. Fast about it. Um, Again, I'm just a servant. I'm not a perfect servant. I am striving for holiness daily. I am striving to please God daily. Um, and again, um, stop allowing the enemy to make you overthink things. Because the word of God says, I know the plans that I have for you. God already know. So when you try, when we deviate from what God plan is for us, the Bible says um, he laughs at man's ways. Because we go, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then it's, and then if it doesn't line up with the word of God and then it fails, the enemy come in and beat us up. But that is not what God even had for us to do. So it's not like God way plan. God plans failed. Your plans for yourself, my plans for myself that we didn't seek God on failed. God plan never fails. I pray that this bless you. This is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries. G.W.Deliver2020 at gmail.com. Young lady, thank you. That was a great question that you asked. Continue to seek God. Remember, today is a good day to have a great day. Fast, pray, repent, whatever order you need to do it in. Just get it done. And God willing, until next time, I will see you soon.